All right, congratulations if you've made it this far. You're doing great. If you haven't made it this far, please backtrack or send me an email. You can find my email address in the syllabus. You're going to click the trade button on the left side here. And this is how you're going to buy and sell stocks in this screen here. Now you're on trade a stock right now. This is the form you will fill out in order to trade stocks. We'll talk about that in a moment. Trading options, you will not be able to do that in this course, so don't worry about that. Open trades are trades that are open that haven't been executed yet, but they are going to be executed at some point. They're just currently in the open status. And failed trades means that you, you tried to make a trade, and because you did a, a limit or a stop price, maybe those prices were never met, or maybe you don't have enough money to buy that stock, and so that was a failed trade. So if you go to failed trades and you see some in here, that means that it never went through and you need to go ahead and do it, redo it in this screen because it was failed and never went through. Here is the fun part, trading stocks. You'll click on the trade button on the left and you'll see a form like this. Right now I just joined the game so I have a million dollars to trade with. Something to note is a market trade costs $20 every trade. Now if I buy a hundred shares of a stock that's only one fee of twenty dollars but let's say today I buy fifty shares and tomorrow I want to buy fifty more shares of whatever company I'm buying that's two separate charges of twenty dollars every time you sell a stock that's another twenty dollars so if I buy fifty shares and then I sell fifty shares the next day that's forty dollars total in fees so the fees are it's pretty typical in real life as well. These again the twenty dollars is the fake money. It's your million it's coming out of this fake million dollars. So it's not your real money. But if you were to invest in the stock market right now through e trade or T D Ameritrade, it's typically somewhere between ten and twenty dollars per trade. So do note that every time you do make a trade, there is a fee. A limit trade is thirty dollars instead of twenty dollars. So it's an extra ten dollars to do a limit. Okay? Looking up a symbol, you could do a symbol look up here and it'll pop up a, a new screen and you can look up companies. Or you could just populate this box here. So if I want to buy McDonald's, I have to make sure I put the stock symbol, not the company name. This is the stock symbol on the left. It's usually three to four letters. On the right is the company name. Now the search query is finding this, is finding even if I do McDonald, it'll still pop you. It'll pop up here in this little. See how it's popping up right below it. You want to make sure you do the symbol MCD. If you do it properly, it should populate over here on the right. As you can see, it's up one percent today. Up a dollar and three cents. Up one point five percent. What's the volume of trading? What's the high for the day? What's the low for the day? What was the last trade? And then it's on the New York Stock Exchange. So if I wanted to buy McDonald's, let's go ahead and buy 100. I'm going to buy it on market. Day order meaning you only wanted to order for the day. If, you don't, if you're not unable to buy it in today's stock market, which closes in 2 hours and 17 minutes, you don't want it. Otherwise, good tell cancel means you know even if you don't get it today, you know, try again tomorrow. Good until I don't, I lo no longer want it and I cancel it manually. And then whether or not you want to email whether it went through or not, you can also click this. Now the stock market is based on real life, which is on the East Coast. And you can actually find the hours in the simulator how-to guide. This is a, there's a link here, investopedia.com slash university slash simulator. There should also be a link on this page um, in the help section as well. And in the simulator how to guide, the hours of the stock market are here 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So it's three hours ahead. So if you're on the West Coast, the stock market is open in the simulator from 6.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday, till 1 p.m. Western Time. Also, the stock market is not open on holidays, so you want to check that. You can still put in an order and buy and, and buy an order on a holiday or on a weekend, but it won't actually go through until the stock market opens. So the stock market is still open today for two hours and 15 minutes. 
So I should still be able to do this trade. I am buying at the market price, whatever the price is that right now on the stock market. How many shares I want. Commission is the fee. As I mentioned, you will pay $20 every time. So the total amount they're going to take out of my million is $9,077.99. And I can go ahead and go back and change my order if I want to add more shares or change something, or I can go ahead and submit my order. Go ahead and click that. And then now I get a trade confirmation. Automatically, you're going to see the top five gains for the day. And you can see that I have this order open now. Status pending. They're going to they're going to execute that as soon as possible. Okay? You can also trade ETFs and mutual funds. This is a Vanguard mutual fund. High dividend yield index fund. You can buy these as well. You don't have to buy individual stocks. Once you've made the stocks in your portfolio, you should be able to see them right now. They're pending, so they're not there yet. But once they execute, your buying power is going to go down, your cash is going to go up or down, your account value is going to go up or down, depending on how your trades do. On the trade screen, you're also going to be able to sell your stock. So before I bought 100 shares in McDonald's, if I want to sell those shares, you want to make sure you get the right stock symbol. You want to sell. Do not sell short. That's something different. And quantity. If I did 101, this would not work because I only own 100 shares. Where if I only did 99, I'd still own one share. So make sure you, you could double check how much quantity you own by going to your portfolio link. And, and looking at your portfolio, it'll tell you how many shares of McDonald's you own. You go ahead and click that, and then you're going to sell it at the market price, which is just what price is it at right now in the market. And then you're going to do it whether you want a good tell canceled or do you want to only want it to do it today by the two hours and nine minutes, by the end of the day for the stock market being open. Now, another strategy instead of buying a stock, when you buy a stock, you're betting on the fact that the stock is going to go up or you're going to collect some dividend from it. In a sell short, you're short selling meaning you're betting on the fact that the stock will go down. So if you think that Tesla, for example, is going to be hurting for the next couple months and you're going to go ahead and sell short, you're betting on the fact that the stock price will go down. Okay, That's another strategy you can do in this game if you want, sell short. If you're new to, to stock trading though, I would not recommend it. In my experience, whenever I've sold short, I've lost a lot of money, and it's very easy to lose money, so only do that if you feel comfortable with it. Back to kind of helping you out in, in strategies in, in, in stock trading, one of the most common strategies is diversification, meaning you're buying so many different stocks and in different industries and from the competitors that even if one of the stocks gets hurt, your other stock tends to do better. So, for example, buying Lowe's and Home Depot stock. Now, if the whole construction industry and home improvement industry goes down, both stocks could get hurt at the same time. But if Lowe's has a really good quarter and Home Depot doesn't, you might lose a little money on your Home Depot stock, but your Lowe's stock is going to go up quite a bit. And so that's a way to diversify so you're not um, dependent on particular performance of one stock where the opposite would be I buy a million dollars of Google's of Google stock. I spent all my money on one stock. Now I'm dependent on Google. If Google does poorly, my whole portfolio does poorly. My whole all my million dollars. And you have other strategies like day trading where you buy and you sell stocks very frequently. Like within a week you might buy and sell maybe 10 different stocks. You wait for it to go up, it goes up, you sell it. You wait for it to go back down, then you buy it again. You can find these types of strategies in the simulator how-to guide on this page. You can see there's a diversified portfolio, there's help on selling stocks, there's advanced trade types. You can learn more about short selling. And these are great resources for you. You can spend as much time as you want on here and you can get some really good information.
Now, some third-party websites if you want to research stocks. Uh, one is Morningstar.com and one is Yahoo Finance. There are many sites that do this, but I like Yahoo Finance. I think it has a very comprehensive view of any stock. So here's McDonald's. Something I like to look at is the charts. Look at the five-year trajectory. Are they on an upward trend right now or a, or a downward trend? You can see they're actually on a downward trend right now, which could be good because that means that they're due for an upward trend soon. As you can see, everything is cyclical. There's a cycle. Another thing to look at is key statistics. And this will give you their beta number. And these are all advanced stock trading things, but these, these numbers can be interpreted in many different ways to see whether or not the stock is undervalued or overvalued or how, what their position, is, position in the market is. You can see what kind of dividend payout they give. And then you can also see all their financial statements. And this is a good indication of how profitable they are and how they're doing financially as far as profits, investments, and going forward. Morningstar is also another good website. These are not related to Investopedia. These are separate websites, but they are really great resources as far as getting more information on what stocks to buy, what stocks to sell, and any other information that might help you in this game, as well as in real life if you are managing your own portfolio of accounts. Now, I showed you the Investopedia simulator before. You can also get there by clicking the help button and the simulator how-to guide. It'll take you right there. Awards. There's certain awards you can unlock in this game. You can read more about it on this screen. Ranking. Once we get more students in here, you'll be able to see all that your fellow classmates. You'll be able to click into their name and see their trade histories. So it's not a secret. You can see other people and what they're doing. And your portfolio will take you to your portfolio page. My, my trades have still not gone through yet. They should by the end of the day. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I would recommend looking at the how-to guide if you do have any other questions. I do recommend buying as much of your million dollars as possible. The main point is to have fun and learn more about trading stocks. You will learn the more you do. So don't be afraid and have fun.